Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one, gonna show you how to do a bass bounce, a bass drop, or a bass shake effect. Let me show you what I'm talking about, then I'll show you step by step how to do it. That's all there is to it. That's what the effect looks like. It's just a bass drop effect. How did I do it? Let's just start from scratch and I'll show you. So I'm just gonna delete all of that good stuff. The first step is I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop some footage on the timeline like I've done here. And then I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Now, the next step is you grab your video, or pardon me, your audio, drag and drop that onto audio track two. In this case, this video has no audio, so you could unlink it like I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna unlink it, and I'm just gonna delete that track. So there's just this track. Now, the next step, and this is an unnecessary step, but I like to do it, go here between the A1 and the A2, pull this down. Oh, I missed it. Uh, let's try again. What I'm going to do is I just want to increase the size of the audio. Also, you're going to see this white line. Because I'm doing a tutorial, I'm going to pull this quite a bit down and I'm going to reduce the loudness so that it doesn't blow your, ear bar your ears out. So I'm going to drop it down 12 decibels. That is not necessary if you're doing this though. So again, I'm just showing you the steps. The next step here is I'm going to go through the audio and I'm going to mark it. I need to mark where the bass drop occurs. So I know that it occurs around the five second mark. So I'm just going to move forward and when I hear the bass drop, I'm going to hit space bar. And when I hear the space, when I hear the bass drop, I'm going to press the M key to mark it. Watch this. Now, when I hit M at the bass drop, you're going to see that it's dropped these two little pylon, these two little uh, symbols here. Now, these are sticky symbols. So if I hold shift key down and I can move between them, they're going to stick. You're going to feel them as if they're guides. So just keep that in mind. So I hit the M key. So we've set the bass drop points. Now we're going to go over here to the project panel. I'm going to click on this little new item here and I'm going to create an adjustment layer. And it doesn't matter. Just click OK. Drag and drop the adjustment layer onto the timeline anywhere for now. I'm just going to go right there. Move the playhead to the beginning of the adjustment layer. And then what you need to do is once you're at this point, press the right arrow key four times. One, two, three, four. And then just shorten this to that period. So what I've done is I've got a four frame adjustment layer. So I've got that. Now I'm going to move that to the first base drop point. So you'll see here that that line occurs and it goes right through it. That's a sticky line. So I'm gonna drop that there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move and I'm going to go back to the effects panel and I'm going to do two effects. The first one you want to apply is a magnify effect. Search magnify in the search bar like I've done here. Click on it, drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. Very important that it goes on the adjustment layer. All right. There we go. Now. I've gone to the beginning of the adjustment layer. I'm going to click on magnify in my effect controls panel and I'm going to move this and I'm going to increase the size to 110. So basically I'm just basically doing like about a 10% in increase. So it's like a, it's like a quick uh, jolt. So it goes up 10% in scale, then it goes back down. So let's see what we've got so far. Here we go. We've got the little 10% jolt. Now the next step, this is also optional, but I like to do it. I'm going to type in blur and you get a couple of different blurs. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna select Fast Blur. Grab Fast Blur and drag it and drop it on the uh, adjustment layer as well. Now, you're gonna see Blur, you're gonna see Magnify, and then Fast Blur. For Fast Blur, I'm gonna go ahead and increase it to about 25. So when the bass drop occurs, the image has a little bit of a blur effect. Now let's see what it looks like. There we go. That is a perfect bass drop. I can also hold down the Alt or the Option key if you're on a PC or a Mac, whichever one you're on, and just move this. And now I've got a second bass drop. So if I move the slider to here and I... There it is. That's all you need to know, guys. Thanks for watching.